Hello YouTube, this is William. <clears throat> I want to do a follow-up to the video I did yesterday uh, about uh, the um, tool options or something like that. And I uh, talked about batoning and my thoughts on that and all this other stuff. And inevitably, when you talk about something like that, then the one tool option comes up in the comments. And it came up a couple of times, I think. So anyway, I thought maybe as a knife maker, I would share my thoughts on the one two option concept, okay? So uh, let's uh, let's go back through history, all right? Um, I don't know of any civilization who ever thought or considered a one tool. <laughs> Even Otzi the uh, the Ice Man, he he didn't have one tool. He had a knife that was very similar to this. I mean, about in size and everything else, but this little mini, uh, and he had a bronze ax. So that's not a one tool. And he lived in the ice age, if you will, at least in the Northern portion of, of the world. Uh, so, I mean, you know, even then there was a one tool option. Um, is there one out there? Well, it depends on your situation, I think. Um, <clears throat> for someone who lives in the desert, I think this right here as a one tool would probably be all you would ever need. Um, I mean, you're not gonna find a lot of, of large trees to split. You're not gonna find um, any, any large game that you would have to butcher or process. But even with this, before metals, our ancestor used flint rocks to butcher mammoths. Uh, so, you know, when you talk about one tool option, there's a lot of things that comes into play. I think skill level comes into play. I think your geography or your geographic location comes into play. I think the season comes into play. And uh, let's just cover those and my thoughts on those. Uh, geography, I mean, someone in the jungle their one tool would be a lot different than someone in the desert. Uh, if you watch enough of the indigenous peoples in the jungle, now that they have metal, before they had metal, they had stone tools. But now that they have metal, a machete is their one tool. I mean, they, they can process and do everything, even fine intricate work with that machete because they can choke up on that blade. I've always said, I can make a large blade smaller, but I can't make a small blade larger. So in other words, I can choke up on that blade and I can get that blade as short as I want. Now you're gonna have arm fatigue and a lot of other things trying to, to counterbalance that weight in many cases. But again, it is an option, okay? Um, so someone in the boreal forest during winter, something like this will get you killed. So even, even this survival knife, so-called survival knife that I come out with, the WCSK, if you're caught out in the boreal forest or even the northern woodlands in the middle of January and February with just this, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna die, okay? So the one tool option myth, if you will, I think is carried a way too far. Um, uh, it, it depends on mostly, uh, um, on skill level, I, you know, can, can you take something like this and go into the boreal forest in the middle of winter and survive? Well, it has probably been done in the past, but those were people who were a lot more skilled than I would say 99% of us are today. Um, so I, I think that's a cautionary tale. It's a marketing scheme when you hear a one tool option being mentioned. Um, now, what is more realistic in a one tool option in the boreal forest and sometimes even in the eastern woodlands in the middle of winter is an ax. Uh, an ax will do just about anything you wanna do and more. It can process your wood. It can make you build fires. It can make shelters for you. Now, will this do it? With a lot of calories and a lot of effort, it would. But is that the best one tool option or is it a really a one tool option in that situation? I don't think so. So I think when you hear terms like this 
in in the um, uh, social media and all this other stuff, you have to take all this stuff with a grain of salt because most of this is marketing ploys like survival knives, uh, one tool options, things like that because it depends on a lot of things, folks. Uh, it depends on skill level. It depends on geog geography. It depends on type of seasons. Um, it just, it, it's a lot of that plays into it. Um, so, you know, it, to sum it all up as a knife maker, my thought is you best carry more than one tool. <laughs> I mean, you know, if I'm caught out in the woods, I could survive on this if I had a hatchet. Uh, I could survive on this, if I had a little saw. You know, it's things like that, and, and people talk about weight. Uh, I mean, what is one pound compared to your life? I mean, you know, if, 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 if weight is such an issue with you, I mean, talk to some of these soldiers. They carry 80 pounds all day. You know, it it's just depends on your effort your your uh what you're willing to do for your life and and don't depend on one tool dave canterbury and you know there, we differ on a lot of things but one thing he says that i think is very true is one uh two is one and one is none because with that thought process if you have one tool and that tool breaks because you've been beating it through a log then you have no tools Okay, so, you know, I, 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 I'm really concerned about a lot of the things that's being said on YouTube over the past 10 years. Um, I think that a lot of that is, is just nonsense, to be honest. And um, so I, I'm trying to give another thought process to, to folks out there in YouTube land <laughs> to think about, okay? Really think about this and don't take everyone's expert opinion to heart. Think about it for yourself. What is my situation? What do I need? Uh, don't take William's word for it because William has a different skill set than you do. You may be a first class A number one woodsman and I'm not, I'm still learning at 50, 58 years old. I don't know everything about the woods. I couldn't go out there and pick out every mushroom out there and tell you which ones to eat. I couldn't go out there and pick every vine, every branch, every blade of grass and tell you what that is. I mean, we're all learning. So when you hear the one tool option being mentioned or talked about, it may be a one tool option for them, but it may not be for you. So um, again, you know, I, throughout history, <laughs> no one has ever survived on one tool. Just hasn't never happened. Uh, Nesmuk had three. Uh, George Washington Shears had two, which was Nesmith. You know, and, and so, you know, it, these guys, they knew, and, and they were much more of a woodsman than you or I, and they knew that it took more than one tool, okay? So, you know, Nesbuck, which is George Washington Sears, I made a mistake, um, um, Kephart, that was the other one I was thinking about. I mean, all of, Gertie, Simon Gertie, I mean, all of these, with Daniel Boone, all of these woodsmen, woodsmen, those that lived off the forest, they had more than one tool. And that was for a reason. Because you're trying to rely on one tool, you're rolling the dice. And that's with your life. How much does your life worth in weight? How much is your life worth in dollars? Okay? That's a serious question. I hope this gets you guys to thinking. And uh, if you didn't watch the previous video, please go back and watch that because... I mentioned some things in there, and uh, again, I I am not a proponent of batani. Um, people keep saying, well, for crafts and other things. I think, and I have batani hatchet many, many times. It gets the same results. It's a lot safer to batani hatchet than it is a four or five inch blade because you're dealing with that much cutting area, okay? So, you know, really think about this, all right? Don't just regurgitate what you hear or what you see on YouTube, all right? That's all I'm asking. All right, till the next one, you guys get in the backyard with a little stick, be sure and take a child with you, get the opportunity, and don't forget those painting and band-aids and lots of knives, and we'll catch you again very soon.